Meta Weekly Tournament Grand Finals. If you want to be a part of the fun, click on the join button, become a member for the largest, most active Duel Links Discord for events, discussion, help, get your help, hop in, join these weekly events. It's easy. Hajime. There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. in attack position. Thank you for telling me about that. I lost interest in doing that with my iPhone though. It's easier to just use Android and do whatever I want with it. So I like downloading Japanese games. I like getting into alpha programs like a new mobile games coming out. You can't do that on the iPhone, but you know, I guess technically could you do it with an emulator anyway on your PC? We got Mola Hugh with the back row set. We're playing against Black Wings. With a Black Rowwind, he's gonna activate Samoon by banishing a Samoon to play a second Black Rowwind. This is an additional summon. With double Black Rowwind and the field spell boosting up the attack, he will be searching for two Black Wings smaller than 1800. But the Mullet Hue has the ability to flip the Samoon face down to negate the double search. Looks like you got wrecked, got wrecked. No Element Saber in the hand to discard to flip down the Samoon. Not looking good for you got wrecked. Bora the Explorer might be that monster that he will summon to double search again monster. with the Black Rowans. Gonna special summon a Roshi. Now, now you wanna activate Mola Hugh. Now you could have denied the double search, but now we flip down the tuner. Okay. You got wrecked, didn't get wrecked. He just chose to save it for a tuner to clog up that field. Clog it up. Now his field is locked. What are you gonna do with the locked field? You summon the Gale. It's no good. You can't synchro Gale with some moon. This is pretty smart. What do you think? Should I pull the chat? Would you have flipped down the Samoon or would you have saved it for the tuner? Special summons a Gale. Activate the Gale, reducing the Mola Hue by half of its attack. Now, while my Valentine starts with the field spell skill, Harpy's Hunting Ground, the skill of Yugi is much more powerful, but it has a condition. That condition is you must lose 2,000 life. If he were to lose 2,000 life right now, which is what MJ the winner is doing, dealing 1,800 damage, reducing beyond 2,000 damage dealt, that's going to trigger Destiny Draw, Heart of the Cards. Search your deck for any card. Most players play around it. They do not attack unless they have lethal. D draw. Heart of the Cards. Draw. Focus on this card. That card was Invoker. Literally gave it to him. Here, take it. Invoker on summon, grab invocation. Get invocating, come forth. Purgatrio, banishing a fire and the invoked. Creates a Purgatrio that can attack every monster on the field and inflict piercing damage. Now, MJ, the winner, obviously has a Sphere Kribo. Don't go crazy. There's no way this is going through. It's going through! Boost! 4,300, piercing for 2,800, keeps the ba boost. Attack again! Attack number two! Lethal! You got wrecked! Wrecking! MJ the winner for game one! Let's go! Can you got wrecked open up with a Mola Hue in the field spell, which is what he desperately needs? Game one, he was lucky enough to have a Mola Hue and an Elman Saber. I summon a monster in attack position. I set this card. Mola Hue in a set, set looks just like game one. I think he just had one card set for game one. Does he have an Elman Saber in the hand to get flipping? Submoon banishing a Bora to play a Black Rowan, just one Black Rowan this time. This is an additional summon. 1800 trigger. The Black Rowan grabbing a Gale. Very good. Come on out. I summon a monster in attack position. S 
Normal summons the Zephyros, triggering Black Rowan a second time, grabbing Oroshi. Now, if you got wrecked as the same thing as game one, he's saving his Mole Hue to flip down the tuner. He wants to see that tuner, then flip it. Okay. He's committing. With a face up Blackwing on the field, special summon in Roshi, exactly what you got wrecked was waiting for, activates the effect of Mola Hue to flip down the tuner. Interesting how MJ played this a little bit differently than game one. Burns for 1,000 in the end phase from the effect of Samoon. But this time, You Got Wrecked does not have Destiny draw to search for the Invoker. Draws a back row card, sets it. Mole Hugh gets swing and take out that tuner. He's not going to be able to flip again. That's it. Mole Hugh needs an Elmen Saber in the hand to flip a card in the field face down or the field spell to flip a card face down. Back in the day, 2017, you were a tier one deck with Harpies. Black Wings has stolen your identity. Normal special summons a Gale. Floodgate Trap Hole permanently flipping down the Gale. Because it's a special summon, MJ the winner could follow up with a Samoon in the hand. You could tribute someone with Samoon. Smaller than Mola Hue, unless he has a Forbidden Lance, a damage step card, which would reduce the Mola Hue by 800. Okay, just taking out his Samoon to make room. All right, good. His field was clogged. He had to do so. He had to do it. Again, you got wrecked did not rip into an invoker. Now that the field is no longer locked up, let's just get swinging. You already unclogged the field. He probably would not have attacked. Take out that Zephyros. Zephyros on the grave can return the field spell back to the hand to summon from the grave. Does he have a gale? Another gale. One's face down permanently. Tribute summons for a Samoon, as we said earlier, but where's the Black Rowan? No Black Rowan with a Tribute Summon? Summoning a monster smaller than Mole Hue? That's not a very good play. Special summons a Chris. Chris is, in fact, bigger than the Mole Hue, thanks to the Field Spell. He's not done. Special summon a Bora the Explorer. No Tuner. Everything on the field has no effect, essentially. It's just a beatdown deck. You don't have to wonder what their effects are. That's it. They're vanilla on the field. He's going in. 2100 attack the Mola Hue. Successfully doing so. He's triggering Destiny Draw again. No. Okay. You got wrecked. Now able to search for Invoker. Fiendish Chain, lock up the Bora. Okay, this is getting crazy. This is getting crazy. Flame on! He doesn't have room to play the fusion. His back row is locked up. Destiny draw, heart of the cards, guide me. Draw any card from the deck. I draw. All right. I summon a monster in attack position. Of course that card is Invoker. Invoker. Grab Invocation. He has a fusion set. He is not clogged up. He had it all along. In. Whoa. Kishon. Come forth. Perga Trio. 3100 attack can become 4,100 after adding the Invoker to the hand to discard and boost up the Purgatrio. Going to boost it up preemptively just to get the Invoker in the grave to summon another Purgatrio. This means that even if he has a Sphere Karibo, it is no good. I'm counting on you. I fusion summon a monster. Purgatrio. Come forth. Time to battle. Here we Time go. to battle. 4100 attack. Attacking over the Chris. 2K. No the attack number two. The this is it. Attacks. 
You got wrecked is your Meta Weekly champion. Yes. You being a champion will go down in history forever on the website, your role in the Discord, and the money you will receive for being a champion. Meta Weekly every single week, bro. Old deck type breakdown, Shura Nui. This is with no side deck. This is with the new box. Everything is legal and available and viable. Post ban list, new skill change, new box. We're ready for the Casey Cup Grand Tournament. So these decks are what's going to be doing well in the Casey Cup Grand Tournament. Top 32, Black Wings is the best performing deck. Only three Shura Nui's after being the most played deck. Wow, it was most played by a pretty large margin. And then what happened? Lots of Blue-Eyes White Dragons in the top 32 cut. Let's check it out. Starting off with the top two, we're gonna look at MJ the winner's deck and then you got wrecked. MJ the winner playing Black Wings, triple Cosmic Cyclone, no Blackbird close, and this was a no side deck event. No side deck, could not side deck into it. All right, very good. And we got the extra deck. Black Rose Dragon, Star Eater, Chidori, no Pixie Dragon. Okay, interesting. And then we have your number one deck from You Got Wrecked. You Got Wrecked, 22 cards playing Double Typhoon, which will destroy a face-up spell or trap on the field. Sometimes they're using it on themselves to free up the back row. Top 32 decks in a random order. Let's go. Undefeated Glider Beast until top four or top eight. You'll see the website exactly how well it did. Lore Roma CCG, congrats on doing so well with this. Endless Trap Hell. Oh, again, top 32. I need to yoink this. Ever since the Charger Light Brigade and the Gold Sark in the dark were set limited to three, it's been a struggle. Level Augment, nothing interesting here. Quite standard. Blackwing standard, Blackbird close. People are going back and forth between close, cosmic, play both, play none, uh, play the other over the other. Alternative evolution with the Cosmo Brain, triple card of consonants, very nice. Restart, that's pretty interesting. I guess you don't really see restart in heroes. Okay. More alternative evolution, Melody grab the Chaos Dragon Levanir. I'm liking it. I'm loving it. Peak performance. Standard. Triple Cosmic with the Blackbird Close. Necker Valley. Very nice. Now this is funny. He knew that you would be wondering about the Snapdragon. So Snapdragon, you send it to the graveyard with the Neos Fusion. You banish a card from your opponent's hand. Then you activate Mind of Plana to delete their banished card. Because otherwise it would go back to their hand during the end phase. Delete a card from your opponent's hand with this deck. Blackwing standard. Sure, Nui looks standard. Mythic, ooh, spell vanishing, very good. You will discard two cards to negate an invocation and then discard all their invocations. Goki, tie that binds. Playing with Silent Swordsman. Hmm, Master of Destiny, Orcus Despacito. Black Wings, all right, nothing yoinkable here. No Fusion Gate. You what, mate? Another Black Wing deck, standard. What the heck? Could not give up the Cockatiss, is playing a Fortune Fairy. Invoked Neos with Volcanic Shell. This is very similar to what we played on YouTube. It's a very powerful deck. I enjoyed it a lot. Congrats on the success with this. Oh my. DD Haru with the Winda, Triple Winda, Heroes, Bobby ST Heroes. Very nice, Sealed Tombs. Neo Space without Favorite Hero. What? Okay, he's playing Mash Change without Favorite Hero. Level Augment. Very good. Christron Standard. Switcheroo. Dragoonity, triple cosmic cyclone, return a card back, draw a new one, help with the consistency, take out the back row, 
anti back row, just win. Triple Barcha, no gay bulge. Okay. Hey, Dark Magician, Seal Tombs. Alternative evolution with the Flamvel Guard. Cosmo Brain could tribute itself or another card to summon the Flamvel Guard from the deck, and then you could easily synchro with your Blue Eyes White Dragon to make your level 9. What is this? Who allowed this in the tournament? See you later, Christrons. With the Charger Light Brigade and the Lila. Very good. That is the event.